Okay, T lock. Uh, so now, uh, now I'm assuming that the R code ran, and in your folder, in your C drive, in the LAS underscore tiles folder, all the files you downloaded are now there. Now I only have five because I altered my code, but you should have about 3,800 in your folder. Uh, and remember, I, I estimated it to be about 160 gigs, so so be careful. Uh, now we just want to open up ArcMap. Uh, now I'm assuming that you have a model already that does what you want, that starts with LA zip and goes through whatever processing steps you wanted, and at the end ends up with a single output that you want to keep. Uh, so now I'm going to show you how to how to use an iterator. Uh, now there's a lot of different ones, and depending on exactly what you're trying to do. Uh, and what kind of outputs and stuff you want. Uh, several of these could work for, for the job we want, uh, but the easiest one for uh, files that are foreign to ArcMap is the files. So here's the iterator. Uh, this is the output file, and that's what you're ultimately gonna feed into your model there. Uh, and this is really easy to use. Uh, here for folder, you're just going to browse straight to that LAS underscore tiles folder that contains all the LAZ data set that you have. Uh, now here, uh, if we had a whole bunch of different files in there, um, I think so, it may make sense to set this, uh, but this seems to do the trick here um, with no other option. So in this case, it's, I guess it's only looking for the ones... Uh, that have this file extension um so so that's all we have to do uh and then this thing uh if we had stored uh if each time sometimes when you when you download this stuff uh it, like uh, the ky geo portal will like put it in another folder kind of like rasters uh do so um if that's the case, all you have to do is check this. But um, in the way that I wrote the code, it just it, everything went to the same folder, which really wasn't the smartest thing because now it's such a big folder. Uh, but that's what we got. So you just set that. If the color pops up, that means it um, you at least gave it confident information. Now all you have to do is just connect that output with your model there. Bam. And now as long as your process is solid, and there's no obvious mistakes. Everything should light up like a Christmas tree. Now, uh, the second issue that you had regarding uh, this right here, um, the output, you want to retain this original name here. All you have to do is put in the parenthesis name parenthesis, right? And then you give it the file extension. Uh, and you sent me a screenshot earlier, and you uh, you basically had it something something like that. I'm not I'm not sure I'm not sure, uh, but it was just a little wrong. So that's the correct way right there. Uh, and there you go. So now you just hit this check, and it'll kind of do like a final check. Now you hit play, and as long as our model runs and doesn't fail, uh, we're good to go. So there I see it, it just, it just completed the first step. Now it's, it's, it's going, it's going, it's going. And I normally just kind of hang around to catch it, to watch it uh, do that second, second file name. Uh, so this thing is, is off and running. It's already on to the, uh, to the second one. So uh, no problem here. Um, this should work for you too. So uh, if it doesn't, I guess, uh, I guess we'll 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 wrap on it Monday. So I hope this helps. Um, if not, uh, if not, we'll we'll do, we'll work on it. Thanks a lot.